Hello Tinkerers and welcome to another Tinker. Today we're going to tackle another iconic building, the One World Trade Center. What a magnificent building towering over New York. Well let's look at the basic shapes. Basic bottom of shape is a box and then it goes up and it cuts itself in from each corner and then it's another square shape on the top. It's a lot easier to see. If you look at a drawing of it, you can see how it kind of comes in and obviously it's got this finish on top. How are we going to do that in Tinkercad? Well then, first off, let me just name my project, the One World Trade Center. So let's just start off looking at this section. I can do a box nice and easy at the end. I want to try and create this section. What I'm going to do today is actually going to build it upside down. So let's look into the box. Let's make this 30 by 30. And I'm going to look at how I could create this shape and extend it upwards. How am I going to cut off these corners? Well, looking down here, I have got a pyramid. Now I'm going to use this pyramid in a unique way. I'm going to use this to create the mold that I can cut out the edges of that box and then create the iconic shape of a One World Trade Center. So let's bring this up. Let's make it nice and high. Let's say 110. And let's twist it on an angle of 45. So let's grab it. You can either type in 45. Or if I wanted to undo that, I could just grab this, this corner, hold shift, and it takes me in 45 degree angles. So there you go. I've got 45 degrees. I'm going to make this a nice even number. So it's 28 at the moment. Let's make it 30 by 30. Makes things nice and easy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a... Put this in in four corners and then I'm going to be able to put the cuboid in the middle, make their pyramids holes and I'm going to cut off the edges. So watch how I do this. I'm going to duplicate, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to move this and I know it's 30 by 30 so I'm going to move this 30 that way. So it's point on point and then I'm going to duplicate this one, move it 30 this way, holding shift again. And then finally, I can duplicate this and finish off each corner. There we go. Make it 30 that way. Fantastic. So I've got this shape going on at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group these together. And it means I, anything I do to one, it does to the other. Now I want to bring this back in. Each one of these is 110 tall. So I want to make this 110. Here we go. And what do we have? We have 30 across. So I need 30 and 30. Perfect. So if I bring this, click on that, hold shift, click on this one, align, bring them this direction and this direction. And that puts my cuboid directly in the middle of them four pyramids. If I look from below, look what shape is created as well. It's created a square on the bottom. Yeah. So what I'm going to now do is turn these pyramids into holes. Select all the objects, group them together, and then it's going to slice off the edges of the building. There you go. Look at what I have created there. What I've created there, that is an upside down one wheel trade center if I've ever seen one. Let's flip this around. So grab the rotation arrows, hold shift, bring it all the way around. There we go. Could make it slightly taller, and then if I just extend it upwards, it kind of works on its proportions. And then what I need is I need to put it on top of a base. So bring in my box. That was 30 by 30. So this is going to be 30 by 30. Should I have it 30 high as well? Yeah, let's make it. Uh, let's go and refer to the picture. That does look like a cube at the bottom, doesn't it? So here we go. I've got that 30. And then I need to obviously lift up my One World Trade Center. My middle section and put it on top. It needs to be 30 degrees high. And then select them both. You can make the red box or hold shift. Align them again. Makes my life a lot easier. Align in the middle and the middle. That is looking pretty good. Let's group them objects together. And there we have the basics of a One World Trade Center. So, what am I missing? Well, I'm missing this top bit. And it is a nice little. Uh, Cylinder followed by a point. So let's just grab a cylinder. Let's make that nice and 
Good, I'll take it right down to, let's say, four. Oh, nice flat disc. I need to know how high I need to bring it up. So just look at that, it's 153 high now. So I just need to bring it up, 153. So I can just do that, click on this, 153, type it in, and it brings it to the right level. So it's perfect on the right level. The thing is, it's not aligned at the moment, so just let's select both. Let's align them both in the middle and in the middle again. Here we go, and we've got a nice plane from the top. Now I need that spike. Where's my spike? Well, a cone will do, won't it? Well, it's quite chunky at the moment, but if I was to take this right down to two by two, there we go, I've got a nice little spike and I can make it, let's bring it up a little bit, let's make it 135, bring on my spike. And I've got, this is 153, and then I know my cylinder is four, so 153 plus four is 157. So let's move that up to 157. 157, it's my life nice and easy. Select all of it, let's bring them all together using my align tool, align this way and align this way. Here we go. We have got a One World Trade Center going on. Now obviously I don't want these colors, so I think I've got a gray top. Let's make my top nice and gray, so hold shift and select them both. Let's turn both of them into a, uh, have a nice dark gray. And I obviously don't want a red building. Let's turn math into a nice blue trade center. Hmm, possibly a bit darker, this one. Ooh, let's have a look. How about that one? Here we go. That is looking pretty good from my perspective. Now, obviously, I can work on a few little bits. One of the cool little tricks I've uh, learned recently and how to make a building really kind of pop is what I could do is I could take this building now. And I could duplicate it. So there are two of them buildings there. Yeah. Now then, what I want to do is I want to make one of them slightly bigger. So let's say I want to make it 34 this way, because it's 30 at the moment, and 34 that way. So now I've got a slightly fatter building over a slightly thinner building. Yeah. With this fatter building, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it transparent. Here we go, and I'll have it a nice blue, that's about that blue, and make it nice and transparent. And if I bring them together, I need to align all of them, otherwise my building's grown just in one direction. Line them all. There we go. And I kind of get this glass look that goes over the top of the buildings. And that is a pretty neat way of kind of creating this shimmer effect. If you play around with... Uh, different color effects you can obviously get some different colors going on you could even split off the bottom again ungroup it and you can play around with how you get a dark gray bit and you kind of get this reflection going on all the way up the building but that is what i'm going to leave you to do so happy tinkering and here we have the one world trade center